All right, so we've done that test, and we can go ahead and keep that in there. It doesn't harm the page. We'll get rid of it when we're when we're done. Um, but after that, let's go ahead and do some uh, some AJAX. All right, so to run AJAX, we're going to call up a uh, an AJAX object by doing the dollar sign dot AJAX. And a set of parentheses, and inside those parentheses, a set of curly brackets. End that with a, a semicolon. And in here, we're going to send it parameters. And the only parameter we want right now is just the URL to our AJAX scripts, which is going to be in log.php. And to put that property in, just type URL colon, and then in quotes, where that file is, log.php. And because the way this is, because this is setting up uh, kind of a, an array of uh, properties, we don't need a semicolon here, but if we add another one later, another property, we'll do a comma, and then the next one. Right now, let's just leave this blank, and we'll say save, and we'll hop back over to our page, and let's refresh and this time, instead of the console tab, let's go over to network. And this is going to show us our AJAX requests. Um, if you want to, you might have all selected here, but you're going to see all resources being selected or uh, retrieved. Let's just click on XHR. So this is going to just show us our AJAX. So if we go in here and type a name, The, uh, play button, you'll see that it went ahead and requested our file. And if the file was correct or we put it in correct and the name is correct, we'll get a status of 200 or OK. So this means that we successfully did AJAX. We didn't really do anything with it, but it's a success. Now what can we do from here? If we click on this, we can get some information. We can get the uh, preview, which this file is empty, so it's empty response is the same. Headers, you can get a little information about the file. Right now there's really nothing in there that we need to be concerned with. Um, so let's add some information. Let's send that name. And to do so, we're going to go ahead and get the data from the form. Now we're going to actually get rid of our console log here and our task value there. Um, that was only for an example. But we're going to keep our form variable. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable now called data. And we're going to make this equal to the data in the form. So right now uh, it seems really silly because we only have one input field there. So the data is really just going to be what's in there. Um, but this is an important uh, thing to know you can do. We're going to serialize the data in this form. So it's going to take it all and put it into this variable so we can send it to our AJAX file. So form dot serialize, and it's as simple as that. But in order to serialize a form, we have one more thing we need to add to the input field. Uh, much like when you're submitting a form, normally we need to have a name. And we'll go ahead and make it the same as the ID. We'll just call this task. So save that and hop back over to our JavaScript. We need to send this data along with the AJAX call. So after the URL, comma, hit enter. And this property is actually just called data. So this makes this easy, colon. And then we're going to send it the data variable. Save this. Now go back to our project, refresh, and now if we put something in here, hit play, and now you see this has changed. Our URL has changed. It's serialized and added the, uh, the information from the form. So name equals testing. And that's now sent that. So if we click on this, you'll see here in the uh, headers, you'll see query string parameters. And this, are, this is the data that we've sent with this file. If we do this again, it 
hit enter or hit the play button. You'll see there's been a new Ajax request and the task has changed. But again, no preview, no response because we're really not doing anything yet. We haven't added anything to our log file or our Ajax file. So let's go over here to log.php and just really quick for testing purposes, some PHP tags, come in here and just echo. And we're going to use the get array to get the uh, parameters from the URL. And we just want the one called task. Save that. Now, because that's being loaded on the fly, we actually don't even need to refresh this page to get a result. So we'll call this task, let's get a result. Query the new version of log.php. Click on that and you'll see here with the response, let's get a result. Preview, this is more the, with the HTML being rendered. Um, and in headers, same thing, you see the task. So now we're able to echo that out. So we've done something behind the scenes without the user even needing to be aware of it. There's no page refresh, no anything like that. And that's what gives us the feel of this being a real application. And we're gonna build off of this in the next videos.